All right, guys, I uh, just wanted to start this one off. This is, uh, I guess, another project that will happen uh, this year. Um, probably going to happen later on in the summer. I need to finish the Mavic Pro, and Ken's sending me another Phantom 4 Pro that he crashed that I've got to repair. This is a fun project. Um, I have uh, received information. I had one person that said that they had a phantom that they could donate uh, to do this. This is this is a fabric. Now, uh, Art Carlson sent me this, and of course he, he has a very unique sense of humor because the box has all of these great notifications on it, you know, to let me know that it's not, you know, a fabric. Um, and that was to, I guess, have fun with the kids. But, um, but this is, this is a fabric. And essentially, it is uh, it, you take a Phantom 3, you stick it inside this frame, and I mean it's got it's got arms. You know, it makes it into a foldable drone, and you have all of the cables and adapters and extensions that you need to uh, make the drone work. We may even have to uh, run extension cables to your antenna and to your motors uh, to make it uh, reach so I've watched some videos of some people that have assembled these this is not a simple task <laughs> this is definitely going to be a a very intense project <coughs> but I have to admit the quality of the components is really nice um, it, this stuff is not flimsy or, or cheap. I mean, the, the body bends a little bit, but I mean, so did the Phantoms. Um, it's, it's, it's good, you know. I'm looking forward to doing this. Um, again, this is not a project that I'm going to probably be taking any donations on shy of maybe the Phantom. Uh, everything else that is needed for this, uh, I'll, I'll probably just do out of pocket. Uh, the Mavic Pro is the only drone left that I'm doing donations with um, I, Ken's paying for the repairs to his Phantom 4 uh, which I'll document you know what I do with that just you know for for fun um, but Art, Art uh, threw the gauntlet down on this one to uh, to build one of these um, I had one person say they had a Phantom 3 standard um, that they would send or that they were interested in sending that uh, flies but has a damaged camera. Um, I haven't heard anything back on that, so I don't know if that's still coming. Uh, I would love to get a Phantom 3 Advanced or Professional that's been wrecked that I can put in this. That would be preferable because then I get the... Uh, I don't have a Wi-Fi drone. I have one of the ones that, that uses the the same thing that Phantoms 4 uses uh, for connectivity, uh, which I prefer that. I'd, I'd like for this drone to be something that can fly distances and, and not be tethered to the limitations of Wi-Fi. So, um, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I'll, I'll, do, I'll go with whatever I get. Um, but, you know, if anybody out there has uh, either a Phantom 3 advanced or professional or knows anybody that has one that they've crashed that they didn't get fixed that's sitting in a closet someplace um, send it my way I'll tear it to pieces and mount it inside this so um, but other than that I appreciate art for uh, throwing down the gauntlet sir this is definitely going to be a fun thing to do once I get the other drones completed and uh, it will definitely be a very unique drone uh, to, to have and to be able to utilize and fly. So thanks a lot and uh, keep watching the channel uh, for updates on the Favic project. Bye.